There is a new kind of hacking in Silicon Valley, and it has nothing to do with computers. It's called biohacking, where you hack the body and the brain. It includes everything from fasting to so-called smart drugs. Only on 5, Betty Yu talked to tech insiders who say that it gives them the edge they need to get ahead. Paul Benny Jerry hasn't eaten in 60 hours. It was delicious. I've been looking forward to eating this for quite a while. Fasting is just one way Paul and his co-workers from the so-called smart drug startup Nutribox are trying to upgrade the brain. The team breaks its usual 36-hour fast every Wednesday at San Francisco restaurant Elmira. And some take the company's gummy caffeine cubes for an extra boost. Nutribox specializes in creating supplements or stimulants designed to improve brain performance, memory, and concentration. The company is one of a growing number of startups in the valley selling smart drugs. The movement is called biohacking. You know how they say that we can only access 20% of our brain? This lets you access all of it. It's depicted in the science fiction movie Limitless, starring Bradley Cooper. A top secret smart drug turns a struggling writer into a financial wizard. Why does your product appeal to particularly Silicon Valley entrepreneurs? I think Silicon Valley entrepreneurs are the equivalent to Olympic athletes. Um, and Olympic athletes, these top performing athletes are finding any edge. Nutribox mixes FDA approved supplements, botanicals, vitamins and synthetic compounds in its products. On a fast day, it feels sort of like what I imagine like a Zen monk would be where you're very calm and focused and not very distracted. I don't think I even knew what a nootropic really was. Tech consultant George Burke is a big fan of smart drugs. He also takes a tiny bit of a psychedelic drug every few days to treat his ADHD. With microdose of LSD, uh, I'm, able, I'm able to feel more connected to the work that I'm doing. George started a monthly meetup group called SF Peak Performance to talk biohacking. Do you feel like because you have all these enhancements, you have a leg up on your colleagues? Not a leg up, I feel even. <laughs> you know, you have these type A personality uh, guys who are able to create amazing things in Silicon Valley. So I just need to keep up. <laughs> the FDA is not really keeping up with smart drugs or nootropics, as they're formerly called, because they're not recognized as a class of drugs. Many are sold online. This is sort of an experiment. You know, people are experimenting on themselves. They're basically guinea pigs because we haven't done studies to show the safety or the effectiveness of these drugs. Sonia Angeloni, spokesperson for the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, says the world of smart drugs and supplements can be murky. Smart drugs don't make you smarter. They may make you feel like you're being able to focus or maybe they make you feel like you can, you know, do your own personal best. But there are ways of doing your own personal best without having to take a drug that truly doesn't make you smarter. You guys are about pushing the limits. Yeah, I think that's, that's the future. It's going to be inevitable that we will be, you know, playing with like implants, playing with embeddable computers, playing with smart drugs and nootropics. That's going to happen because you just can't stop progress. In San Francisco, Betty Yu, KPIX 5. Nutribox says it only works with compounds that are generally regarded as safe by the FDA with low side effects. They're also running their own clinical trial.